Okay, today we're going to do a little proof. We're going to prove theorem 2.5, which is the congruent complements theorem. And what we start with, we have these three angles. Angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. And we see our given statements over here. We have that 1, angle 1, and angle 2 are complements. We have angle 1 and angle 3 are complements. And we want to prove that angle 2 is congruent with angle 3. So the first thing that we will start with is our givens. So I know that angle 1 and angle 2 are complements. I know that angle 1 and angle 3 are complements. And the reason I know these is because it's given to me up here, so my reason is given. Next, I'm going to say that angle 1, angle 1 plus angle 2, the measures of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. I also know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 90 degrees. And this is my definition of complementary angles. Now, look what we have. Angle 1, measure of angle 1, plus measure of angle 2 equals 90 degrees. I have measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 90 degrees. So you see I have one thing here, which we call our A. If you remember our transitive property, A equals B which is 90, I'm saying is B. And then 90, which is B, equals C, which I'm saying is this measure of angle one plus measure of angle three. Because of that, I can now say the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle three. This is my transitive property of equality. transitive property of equality. Now, you see that we have a 1 on the left, and I have a 1 on the right. So now I can use my subtraction property of equality to subtract 1 from each side. If I take away 1, from both sides, I take away one from here, take away one from both sides, I am left with the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle three. And this is from my subtraction property of equality. subtraction property of equality. Now, am I done? Not quite yet. I see I have measures are equal, but I want to see congruency. So, I now can say 
that angle two is congruent with angle three, and this is the definition of congruent angles. which says that if two angles are congruent, if two angles are congruent, then their measures are equal. So I have the equal measures, then therefore I have congruent angles. And that's our proof for the congruent complements theorem.